Hellcast. J-Dog brought down the treasures, hidden them in his vault. What the fuck am I talking about? Well, you'll have to stick around because this is Hellcast. J-Dog's here. And we've got an episode loaded with some specialties. Because I asked J-Dog to bring down his uh, old uh, concert fo- uh, pictures and stuff. We always talked about it oh, on the yeah, show. Well, yeah. So I said, fuck it, bring them down. Um, and then we got plenty of other stuff. We've got uh, records on the wrong speed. or No, we don't. We have four nine seconds. Yes, this the, the number that keeps going up and down. Uh, because well, yeah, why is it four this time? Ah, because we only had four submissions and fuck, man. You know, it's just figure it a. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you got to get on that cool shit, man. Last time, it's all the cool shit we got from last time. Wanted to give it some airplay, so this episode is brought to you by the Dick Candle Blower, Andrew Thomas who is one of the fan club members over on the Reaper Metal Patreon, something that you should definitely consider being a part of because the way that we like to honor our fans is light a dick candle for you and give the best head you have ever had by J-Dog by blowing it out. But amongst many other things, you are able to help the show and as well get rewards. What are you going to do when that that dick's finally out? I don't know because... uh, Got more dicks? Yeah, we, there, there are several more dicks, oh, so you but uh, the dick candles have been selling, and so, uh, so Andrew, this one's for you, man. Look so at that. be out of dick. Yeah, that was a smoky one too. <laughs> you know Andrew. Andrew's a good uh, customer too at HH. I'm sure you've I seen his, his name. name but uh, yep. yeah. Where, where's he from? North Carolina. But uh, so yeah, you brought some good old gems there. You got your Nike box. <laughs> uh, That's just what I threw them in. What, Honestly, twenty years ago. Yeah. Well, then, like, maybe longer than that. The funny thing is, is so like I'll sit there and set them up. That like now that like you've taken those pictures and like have gotten involved with some of your favorite bands and running a record label and putting those out. So a la Mortician and, and Exhumed. Right. Do, like, <laughs> you never, you got a, uh, like you got to use those in print and stuff. Like, would you have ever thought that when you were taking those fucking photos that there would ever be a, a an opportunity to like scan those in and, and print them in, in the band, and then in the band's actual collage, you know, for their release. Uh, no, I never thought that. Yeah, no. so it's it's got to be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It worked, worked <laughs> out. Worked out. Oh, who the hell is that? Jack Owens. Oh, Jack Owens. He looks cold. And dude, you look like you're fucking ten. Uh, well, Holy shit! Two thousand one, so I was six. That oh man, been I gotta get closer. Yeah, I'd have been sixteen there. Oh wow. Change the fucking camera, idiot. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man, these are going on Instagram. So people can see some photos. Oh, cor- cor- uh, <laughs> neck corpse barns. I see ne- neck, neck grinder. The neck grinder? Yeah. That guy does have a thick neck. Yeah. See, so you... Even then, though, like when, like, where do you see like people wearing like diabolical sh- you you know, shirts? You don't. That's what I'm saying. Stuff? Everything's lame nowadays, man. Oh, that's Paul the drummer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like even these, like what is this? Two thousand, two thousand one ish. Two thousand one. Like that's not that long ago. No, my book, it's not. Like, where's the combat boots anymore? Yeah, he's in the slammer now. He might be getting combat boot. Oh, who's that? The um, Pat O'Brien. That's Pat O'Brien. Let me see. I mean, let's not. I got to, yep. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. He went bonkers, whatever, last year, two years ago, whatever that was. Fuck. I don't even know what the fuck ever happened to him. There's Alex Webster. Yeah. Clarifying what Cannibal Corpse meant that day. N- nice guy you ever meet. Yeah. He's pretty friendly. Invisible oranges. <laughs> is that the flying machine that that, that, that is, was at? That, that was at the flying machine that time I saw him, yep. yep. Wow. Oh, is this, um, fuck, is, that's not see. the crown, is it? Let me see. That is the crown. Oh, holy shit, man. Marco is, uh, yeah. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight. Wow. Because I remember Thomas asked him on that. I, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, he looks completely different. Holy shit. Wow. That's cool, though. That's cool. I could. You know, kind of comes full circle or whatever. Yeah, the crown. I mean, I was yeah a huge fan of the, of the crown, especially like Death Race King and Crown yeah. and Terror and Eternal Death and you know what I mean. But I like I like every album huh. of the crown. I just don't know them all as equal. But uh, I, I don't think they have a single single stinker in the catalog. Who's this? Oh, that's Cryptopsy. Remember, oh, I, that Cryptopsy. Those, yeah, two of the members. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna scan or uh, get a closer up for. Uh, 
Yeah, people that's, see. That's uh, Cryptopsy as well. What is that? Flow and yeah. Uh, Michael. Okay, we did know. show those. Yeah, they showed the Cryptopsies. Oh, yeah, this is where you saw Kerry King. Kerry King, yeah. yeah. He's like dating some girl or whatever in Cleveland, I guess. That's what I heard. Supposedly. I don't know the story. He was just at the show, and I was like, so I went up to him and got my picture with him. Nobody, I didn't know he was going to be there. I want to say I ran into uh, another Hellcast fan, uh, Dale Jacobson. Oh, I know that name very well. I yeah. want to say that we were talking about that, and he said that. Sorry, Dale, if like that's total bullshit, and now Kerry King's blowing up your phone and saying, fuck you, man. <laughs> I don't think Kerry King's blowing up his phone. <laughs> Dale, what the fuck? Yeah. I was listening to Hellcast the other day. Oh, fucking bullshit. Give yeah. out bad information. Yeah, that's do you not, think that's not what happened? <laughs> do you think that's a word that ever came out of Kerry King's mouth? Hellcast? No. <laughs> I was listening to the Hellcast the other day. <laughs> the closest thing to it is Hell Awaits. That's the only thing that's came out of his mouth. Yeah. There's Hellhammer. Yeah, there yeah. I was gonna say, is that Hellhammer? It is Hellhammer. He's a very gorgeous death metal man. Look at me, like, dude, I'm like fourteen there and I'm already rocking the same height as he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? For like the the darkness around mayhem, like yeah, he's, he's, he kind of kind of came off as a pussy to me, but you know, I, not that I look too fucking intimidating in there. Look at that holy sharp shit, doc. ass looking decrepit shirt in that photo, dude. I mean, most most listeners don't even know who decrepit is. Thomas does. Refining darkness yeah. fans do because he's putting they're putting that out or whatever now. Uh, doc, doc, he's dead. Yeah, that's a dead and in the grave. Look that's how a cool one. Towers over me. Yeah, yep. that's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's this happy individual? That's uh, Matty Way from Discord from California. He is. He does not want to be in that picture with you. He was. Uh, he was friendly. I talked to him for a little bit that night, and uh, but yeah, Matty Way. When, uh, Dude, hey, <laughs> it's the best one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that one there I he am, is. That one I am fourteen. Gauged in. earrings and all. That Who's, was ninety nine. Dude, those fucking earrings are bigger than your head. Yeah. Oh my God, what dude! Am I, what am I wearing? Just get the shirt. Just get the shirt. Did you wear decrepit in that? Yeah, too, you got man. the decrepit there. Man, I'm rocking the decrepit in all these. What you, the fuck, Barnes wearing? I don't know. Looks like uh, what was the the? <laughs> <laughs> but though, he, he kind of. What looks... is he wearing? I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. I've been a while since it. But a while. I don't oh, know. I don't but... know. I don't know what the fuck that is. It looks like some goddamn uh, Bob Marley shit or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But I don't know. <laughs> this looks like there's more insanity in the picture than there was probably in reality. Let me see. <laughs> oh, that's what the uh, aborted back when aborted was good, and uh, mutant Mike, who used to own Extreme Music, lived in the shop. He's dead now. He died of colon cancer back in the early 2000s. Let me see who else is in the photo. Chase, the most aggressive uh, Chase, post. Your ever... Matt Matt Harvey. From the Zoom ups suck. Sorry guys, but Matt Harvey. And uh, who else is in that fucking photo? Bud Burke from uh, Cole Jones. Dude, yeah. this might as well be your so. fucking baby photo. Who's that with? I didn't see it. What is it? You were with two men uh, illegally suggesting you should smoke. That's uh, <laughs> that's Deeds of Flesh. And on the right there with the cigarette in his hand, that's Eric uh, Lindbergh. He's uh, dead now, too. He was, the, he was the founder of Deeds of Flesh. Oh, no shit. He kicked the bucket last year or whatever. Cirrhosis, cirrhosis of the liver. Damn. Yeah, and he signed this. Yeah, that's cool. I have because I've I met uh, Deeds and Discourge several times and hung out with them. They're really cool guys. They used to play a lot in the early two thousands, back in the good old days. Yeah, they did all those bloodletting tours, and then they played the Ohio Death Fest a couple times. Uh, and, and everybody that knows me, I, I like I love the first four Deeds of Flesh albums a lot. The fifth one, uh, Mark of the Legion, I like, and then after that, mm, Reduced to Ashes is okay, but I thought it was kind of boring. And anything after that, I didn't like at all. I thought it was just kind of a totally different band from there on out. Well, speaking of boring, that's going to be one of the albums, as far as my opinion, for this week's album Don't war. Lose my stack, homie. No, I won't lose it. This week's album war is uh, I, I, maybe not an obvious one, I'd like to think, at least. And that is Possessed, Beyond the Gates versus Eyes of Horror. What about seven churches? That blows them both away. I know, but that one seemed to be the obvious, so that's why I wanted to switch it up. So the other two, that's kind of like unfair because one's like four songs. Well, uh, all right. Well, I like Eyes of Horror more though. Four songs were better than that whole stinky album, as far as Eyes of Horror was or uh, Beyond the Gates was concerned. Dude, that's a snooze fest. That guy's blaspheming a great album. I'm gonna go with Beyond the Gates. (sighs) Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a good album. No, oh, I, mean, I thought you thought it was boring too. No, 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 sir. I like uh, I like all the possessed stuff. I even like the new album, the brand new album. I just think Seven Churches is. 
I don't know. There's something just about it, but it just like um, I just like it. Just kind of brings me to a feeling of, of the time, I guess. Even though, yeah, I, you know, I don't know. So uh, there's always just something about it that uh, Seven Churches is always. What I like but there's it. an energy on Seven Churches that when it came to Beyond the Gates, it, like, they don't it was have, like lost. No, that's why it's not as good. No, 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 it's not yeah. as good. But I still enjoy it as an album. Yeah, the sound isn't that the same. It's not. It's more of kind of like a thrash rock record, right? Around and. Uh, and that's why I like Eyes of Horror because then when that thrash that's even element, a little more thrashy though. Well, that and but it came back around to at least like it was like a, like a nice production then. So like it kind of like worked out the kinks at least because it seemed like yeah they lost the aggression, went more thrash with Eyes of Horror or uh, Beyond the Gates, and then it was just like seemingly boring. I'll tell you what, and uh, I thought people agreed with that. I thought a lot. I mean, at least my circle of friends when I was a kid, like we that's what we all collectively you know, agreed. I liked uh, I like everything by Possessed. As a matter of fact, so I do like you know I'll be on the gates and eyes of horror but uh I like uh the Martyrs Wake demo from 1990 better than I like Beyond the Gates or uh, or uh, <laughs> or uh, uh, uh eyes of horror uh, I, and there's the seventh sign there's two demos and it was with uh what Mike singing Becerra's not on them it right was, right now was, those are great those are great I thought those were because they're more death metal and yeah that's like Martyrs Wake and I think it's called the seventh sign uh there's two demos and those are those are awesome and I posted a show from that era on YouTube. I think we showed that oh, on there. Really? I don't even, Dude, I, I don't know how that bass player's neck is still attached. Or his head, rather. Well, uh, I, I would like, is the show quality sound good? Hey! Do they, do they it's, play, it's durable. Do they play songs from those demos? Well, yeah. Um, I guess so. I mean, I I, like, you know, the funny yeah, thing yeah, is, though? I would like to get a recording from that era. You know what I mean? Like a live show, that'd be cool. Because all I have is just of that era, just those demos. So to hear them on a different recording, and I, I, would, I would I would enjoy that. Oh, it's on YouTube. Yeah, like uh, Berkeley, California, like so 1991. Like yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I always had that, uh, and uh, I always thought that, like, what the fuck? Did you like the new Possessed album, or you didn't listen to it, or what? Uh, I've heard some of it. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. My only complaint about it, if I had one, which was really not a complaint, I, I thought the album was a little long. Just kind of outside the, uh, you know, how the other albums were like 30 minutes. I just would have kept it a little shorter just for that reason, even though it's kind of stupid. Um, but I, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I liked it a lot, actually. And I didn't think I would on my album. Because you know when a band comes back 30 fucking years later. Well, shit, more than that even. Or whatever. Well, from some church, is a little over 30. Well, it seemingly made... Yeah, I thought like, for sure it wasn't going to be good. But I, I liked it. Even Jeff, Jeff actually sounded like Jeff. Like, I expected... It, well, it sounded like Jeff was able to make uh, 40 but, to 50-year-old Jeff go was, back to like a teenager, yeah, too. Yeah, what I was expecting was Jeff to do something lame and come out and try to sing like Chris Barnes or something. I would just instantly shut it off. I'm like, this is fucking stupid, dude. But even like his lyrics, I mean... And I, I guess I mean it in a good way because he was probably shooting for... For it. it also seemed like the lyrics were really like uh, elementary, like just like yeah, yeah, very, like like a, a kid did write them. Yeah, well, that's all about so, that. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk to earth. Like he brings out, it's it's it's. I thought it was a really really good record. Yeah, it's, it's like just taking the lines that have been used. Yeah, a yeah, but, times. I mean, but kind of like what you're saying, like like kind of like, just like not just. But, well, it's kind of what you want. Not complicated, yeah, because when they because the, the, seven churches shit was very simple, and you well, kind of wanted. And he was like 15 right, at the time, right. so, so like he kind of did it right. right. Like, well, look, I got to be 15, even though right. I'm nearly that's, 50. That's, that's, and that's that would have been what kind of yeah, exactly. Don't overcomplicate, man. Now that you're more like educated and what are you, you're older, so you're wiser. Like, kind of like keep it simple, because because that's what possessed was. Right. So and and I thought they did a good job. Like I just thought the album was a little long. That's all. Just a little bit out of character for that. Came as a double LP as opposed to all the others. But you know, singles. I don't know, just kind of a weird complaint. They but. could have been wanting the jam pack it too. Yeah, you know, you know? And, and that makes sense. But I mean, like I, I liked everything on it, and uh, I know isn't that yeah. funny as a fan that sometimes it's like you want less, <laughs> like and sometimes it's like. Just, oh but sometimes you, know, for example, like when you get a band like Denial of God, I expect a double LP as long as like you know what I mean. It's just you look like yeah, yeah, even yeah. With, for example, Cannibal Corpse, I always expect single LPs just because I don't know. That's just like it's weird just because that's what they've always done. Like I don't know. It's like Possess isn't exactly laying on uh, the tunes thick enough to endure a well, doing, ten minute song. Yes, exactly, exactly. But it's, Denial of God, that's kind of their forte. Yeah, the drum, just, you yeah. know, and they, you know, yeah, it's just yeah. You know I, what I'm I get what you're saying. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's, yeah. Certain bands can pull it off, and others totally cannot. Yeah. Um, so that well, then there you go. I I, 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 all right. Do you think that the crowd though is going to respond the same way to you and say that this is an unfair album war? Mm, I don't know. I mean, yeah, because I mean, I, I, it gets it makes the point because it's a very nostalgic band, so maybe that gets a pass. But yeah, you are judging an EP versus an LP. I, I mean, you're, I guess you're allowed to do it. Why not? All righty, <laughs> loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's our show, so I do whatever the fuck I want. If you don't like it, well, I, I, I don't participate. There probably will be some nerd that bad. <laughs> it's like, no, because I mean, I think because you're at least not like bashing them. I think most people that like, uh, 
you know, uh, did you ever notice you got those guys that, uh, like, for example, most people do pick seven churches, but, but beyond the gates, the eyes of horror guys, kind of what you were saying, they're kind of like, they stick by it. Like, you got to, like, yeah. you can't, like, talk bad about them, otherwise they almost want to fist fight you. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, because it's almost like they're... they're like they're, you're blaspheming their religion or something. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, yeah. everybody's taking that many swings at eyes of horror and yeah. stuff or whatever. I don't yeah. know, like, that like that, that piss. But, yeah, I've totally noticed that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For, and it's also the thing that I always forget, because, like, when people r- lump possessed in to a uh, Bay Area thrash, mm-hmm. I always got to remind myself, because it's probably because of eyes of horror. Yeah, and, and so, the, yeah like I said, I, I consider Seven Churches a first-generation death metal album. That and Scream Bloody Murder. Right, right. That's, and that's, that's why I was thought, I kind of thought it was weird when it was lumped in, but then I got to remind myself. Yeah, yeah cause Beyond the Gates and Eyes of Horror are much, much definitely come with, like basically thrash albums. Right. If you've been following Reaper Metal Productions on Instagram, you've been answering a lot of questions. And some of them are catered to... Uh, you know, just have responses that I'm curious. What if, if J Dog had uh, an opinion on the matter? I would cue into him. So, here's a, I guess, a new segment if it's something that needs to recur. It's on Facebook, you said? Ask J Dog. Yes. So, we're going to ask you what I asked the audience. Okay. And so, the first one that was an interesting one is uh, two on one CDs. At this point, are they just junk? You mean like two albums on one? Yeah. You know, uh, a lot of bands that I got introduced to, uh, there was two on one, and it's cool because you're getting kind of like uh, kind of like that Eyes of Horror Possessed. I think mine was a two on one. My like that introdu- combat. My introduction wasn't the two on one for that. No, uh, I don't think so. No, 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 it's not. Well, I don't think so. But definitely a two on one for me. That did get confusing, which is one of my all time favorites. Was the uh, Sinister uh, Cross the Sticks and Diabolical Summoning? I heard mm. that both of those at the same time. Um, Oh yeah, that is a two on one. That yeah, one's like I mean, literally have, two where they like the cost covers. Yeah, uh Infest Dead, the Hell Fuck, and the um Killing Christ. Those were two on one, so just lumped together. Um hell, even like you want to go by just kind of like an EPC, like Embalmer, there was blood everywhere. It's the rotten body fluids and there was blood everywhere, seven inch. So I always thought that was an album. It's two on one. The, pretty... the band of Crepper, like we we're talking about the creation of But at this point in time though. Like, can you imagine somebody making those? Like, those came out, like, original CD releases. Right. Like, in this day and age, like, if a two-on-one came out of, like, something that came out, like, just say Gruesome started to do a two-on-one then for their albums to date. Like, would that be pointless? Would that be junk? Or would you, like... I no, mean, like, not junk. Be- it's just it's, sometimes you can't, like, pick the album that you like more. For example, another two-on-one. It was, I don't know if it's a two-on-one, but somebody gave me a CDR was the first two um, Grim Reapers. Fear, yeah. Fear No Evil and um, See You in Hell. Yeah. And I always thought for a while there was just one album, and then I, I was always kind of like, yeah, the second half I didn't like as much. You know what I mean? But I, I like it because I like the you know, I like the, I do like it, but uh, for a while there I just, the people like, which one do you like more? I was like, I was just one long ongoing disc. I just knew it as I heard it all at the same time. Yeah. So as far as being able to kind of like educate yourself and like decipher which album you like more and the songs and stuff like that, it sucks for that part because you're like, oh, fuck, it was just, I was just listening to the whole disc. I never really knew the color, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sucks for that, but I mean, as far as getting, you know, more bang for your buck, I guess, and more tunes, you know, it's cool for that, you know? <laughs> All right. Well, then the second question Burns or Skogsberg? Wait, what? Scott Burns or Thomas Skogsberg? Thomas Skogsberg, uh, the, the uh, guy from. Uh, the producer for the Swedish death metal stuff. Uh, everybody knows I'm not really a producer guy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, if it, as long as I like, I like albums, like, I don't really. You know what I mean? I mean, these I, are the questions on Instagram, bro. Yeah, but the guy, uh, for example, the guy that stands out more to me is Scott Burns, just because the. Uh, but again, like you clarified it with the interview, is more so the um, the sound of Morris sound. So he may not even been involved in it, but like like I said, I've always said, like the first Dia side, the first Camel Chorus, the first Demolition Hammer, the first Malevolent Creation. It's very obvious that those albums on the same time had very similar sounds. So I'm always like Scott Burns, even though he may not even. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whether like, but I like all those albums. But I was able to differentiate his because, I mean, some people might say that's a really bad thing. Oh, they all sound the same. You know, why would you want your album? You know what I mean? Yeah. And you could you could argue that. But I at least just knew automatically he stood out more for that reason. Uh, cool bands that wear masks. <laughs> Lurking corpses. <laughs> um, I mean, there's others for sure, but uh, Ghoul. It put you on a spot, but I guess that's the point. What what, what comes off the top of your head? Of course, the ghoul comes the top off the top of my head. Uh, exploding zombies from back in the day, Detroit, Michigan. Awesome man, I got some I got some photos in the box here. As a matter of fucking fact, look at this. Look at this. This guy could just jump right to it. Well, pretty. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. You got those organized? Uh, somewhat. They kind of torn, torn apart by people like yourself. <laughs> look, look at this guy. Look at this singer. Flash it up to the camera. A lot of people don't even know who the fuck exploding zombies are. Look at this guy walking around the bat during the show. Zombies just walking around. Exploding zombies. They have a um. They have two discs. Um, but the main one that was known it was about, put out about a Medic Records. It might have been even before he called himself a Medic Records. Was called several several severed heads. Great fucking disc. Hmm. Fantastic. I I mean, I, I, honestly, I'm one of those people that you're accusing. I don't know much about exploding zombies either. Buy it on eBay, motherfucker. Yeah, it's that hard to get. Where it's probably. Just yeah. At this point, yeah. And um, as a matter of fact, I wanted HH to do uh, reissue all that stuff in the demos and shit, but I mean, well, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but yeah, well, that's what I really wanted to do. So if you see Exploding Zombies come out, everybody hell's head you're like, fuck yeah, that's a J-Dog. Yes, it was. Well, then shit, man. You, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there asking you the social media questions where I'm formulating my own now to ask for the future. Do you like exploding, or do you know, rather, exploding, exploding zombies? zombies? Should it be do you like or do you know? You'd appreciate it too, Reap. They do the, um, you know, the Halloween uh, the past episode we did a couple weeks ago with the with the uh, horror soundtracks? No. We did that? Yeah. When, oh, that, oh speed. fuck. No, we did the yeah, like, dude, that seemed like they way. They do it with the yeah. guitar like between the introduction of the song. I forgot the, all the, about the, that the, episode. The, the, the Halloween song, they do it, but they play it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Before oh, they, they did? Song. Yeah. Like they actually play it themselves, but on the guitar with a spooky fucking like foggy intro in the background before it Thought cuts the into the song. the sense that John, John did was pretty Yeah, too. but uh, and that they did that. They, they opened up with that always at the shows too. Because I saw that they played uh, – they played because they, they're from Detroit, Michigan, and they played Cleveland in the early 2000s several times, and they they, they were just they, they were just a great band. And by the way, side note, that's how you also know that modern horror sucks. What is the, like what is the modern horror band that a, a sweet death metal band would open their show with? It wouldn't be modern horror. Dude, like I don't really something. know. I, I, so it's a band in modern horror. Yeah, modern horror. I don't really know what I consider modern too. Is already like 15 years old. Right. Uh, I don't really know much. It's, really if you're just in modern anything, my, though, too, you know, but. like my wife and I, you know, we went to go see like some of those movies she liked, like like Sinister and stuff like that. Those were kind of cool. But like, okay, you know so I mean? like, but those are mod- but those are already a few years old. Yeah, yeah. But like, all right, think because uh, one came to mind, like how, uh, the 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 crave of that or craze that uh, uh, Stranger Things is. So like, and that's fine if you like that show, like. But like, and it has a it has a theme thing. Like it embarks back to the old day. Like that's the old fucking yeah. Gimmick, it's like really. supposed to be based in the eighties, right? Yeah, and so like. If somebody though were like to, if you went to a show and a band opened with that, like as cool as it may be or, or whatever, as fine as it may be, it would be to me, because I'm an opinionated asshole, slightly lame. I don't know, because it would just be like you know what I mean. But if like somebody obviously as they did back in the day did it when Freddie came out, it would have been fre- like it's yeah, still co- it was well, still cool. Because I feel like everything everything nowadays fucking sucks, man. Yeah, but even like I mean, it doesn't Back say. Then, that. I just knew that everything was cool. But it doesn't mean hell. Even fucking uh, uh, devastation from Chicago, best fucking thrash band ever. Well, I don't know about best band ever. But anyways, probably some of my favorite demos of all time. Devastation Chicago. Go check them off if you haven't got them. Yeah, you bring fantastic. them up all. Uh, on the uh, they do use the that Chill in the Corner intro. Remember yeah, that? yeah, that's cool exactly. Too. So like I, I'm, and that like, was around that time. I mean, Chill in the Corner came out what year, right? Uh, uh eighty something. Because that devastation stuff's eighty six, eighty seven. But imagine, so, like, yeah, yeah, if you loved Stranger Things or whatever modern, like, if you heard that on a record, wouldn't you, like, kind of start laughing? Like, I don't know what it sounds like at all. I just know, I just or, know the Netflix But just show, put yourself in that it. place that you, if you did, where you recognize something even modern, that, like, wouldn't you just think that's lame? Like, it makes yeah, you think yeah, of, I like... I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, it's kind of like if you took something from a brand new movie or came out two, three yeah. years ago, I'm like, that's cheesy. Like, it, it, or, it, and the similar... You know what's kind of funny, actually? The best thing, the scenario I can do... And they didn't use it. Uh, I remember uh, Will Romer, a mortician, telling me uh, I, it was right around maybe it was for Chainsaw Dismemberment or it's for the next next down, but it's somewhere in that era. And he told me uh, they were going to use I forget what part or whatever. One of the intros was going to be for the movie Scream, oh, first really? Scream, and uh, Relapse Denied it because like ah oh, this is it's too big, too big or whatever. And even when he told me that, I'm like kind of glad they didn't. That's kind of cheesy because that movie's only like a few years old. But time. you like the movie, right? Yeah, and I do like the movie. I like the but, first, yeah, but I, just, I just thought it's like ah Scream like. Usually, guys use like old shit. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it fits the band. Like it's too commercial. Almost, right, right. And, yeah, uh, yeah. That, but it's funny. I thought that then. And this is like I don't know, two thousand one, two, three, somewhere in that area. I thought that then, but I do like the movie Scream. Well, I, I thought that I was like, ah, I wouldn't use that, man. It's kind of like right. junking up the catalog. Well, I wasn't there, and 
probably aren't old enough to think it then, but I am able to hear the story and think it now. Uh, and I would have probably felt, felt it then too. But it goes back to the story of a uh, you know the guy we know, Tool, yeah, Tool, uh, telling that yeah, he saw a band like yeah, and the guy so how many of you motherfuckers have seen the movie Speed? <laughs> oh yeah, I forget yeah, who, who did it's say like, that. How, well, I don't know the name of the band. Yeah, yeah, but it's like how <laughs> I lame. Know that story. Like even in 1997, when that probably was like when you even still would have been there, going like how lame. <laughs> Most commercial movie of all time that everybody that was alive and 15 years old or older at that time saw. That and then it's just like I don't know the like. I don't know. I like, don't. Do I even really need to explain it? It seems like you get it. It's like it's just so lame. That, that I, I remember when he told that story. And I can't remember what band it. <laughs> I thought that was fucking funny. I, especially coming from him. I would pay money to like be able to time travel to that because that'd be hilarious. Because like imagine all the shit that we got to like that that would be the equivalent of, of that experience in modern time. No, we'd be talking about speed. It'd be some dumb YouTube shit we wouldn't even hear. So just like go over our heads anyway. You wouldn't even know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So, like, to be there and hear that, like, I probably would have just busted out laughing. Yeah, like, exactly. What, what immediately it's comes to so my lame. mind. It does seem lame. And what also immediately comes to my mind is remember when we talk about those bands sometimes where, like, dead or in jail or got out of it, married or pregnant. <laughs> it just seems like a guy that would say that. He's not, he doesn't have the underground metal spirit. He's not in this, anyways. He's into the commercial shit, everything. Let me play some chug a lug, a little heavy fucking wrist to fit in and be cool. You know, like Paul yeah. says, just want to fit in and be cool, man. Uh, I already get that vibe that you're bringing something of that caliber up. I'm like, I'd expect you to bring up something cooler than fucking speed. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Right. And then you just like go through the league, Keanu Reeves, ugh, you know, Sandra Bullock, Lamer. Like, like, it's just like the Paninis dish you bring up. And when a guy thinks he has a, <laughs> when he has a real hard hitter, you're he's like, love this he's one, like, brother. Yeah, you love this brother. He brings, <laughs> up, he brings up Slayer or Sepultura. It's yeah. Like, oh. We're just like, yeah, dude, everybody everybody likes that. That doesn't like I thought you were gonna bring up something more the way you were presenting it, I thought you were gonna bring up something more impressive than that. You yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it brings up just the most obvious go to. And then he's usually talking about the crappy albums by him. Wouldn't that be great if that and it's never gonna happen now that I'm ready for this, but if like if you just laid into that that guy, you're gonna love this one, bro. And then it's just like Fucking rain, angel of death, dude! Come on, well, man! Like, go -to. yeah, the biggest go-to at Slayer. So it's, it's already lame. Then you gave it to me, and like, I'm gonna be an impressed. Voice, like, man, if you could have at least done the demos when they sounded like Priest, then I would have like thought something yeah, cooler of you. Like, what would that guy do? He probably hell, just at the very, <laughs> very least, I would have preferred that he played like. And don't get me wrong, I love Angel Death. I think it's probably one of the, like the, the anthems of metal. Like it's like as far as mo monumental uh, metal songs, right? But I mean, like play something that's like Black Magic or something a little more obscure, not the most obvious go to. I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure my dad knows that fucking song, and he doesn't like Slayer at all, right? It's yeah, like, yeah. Pick something a little bit more like that what I'm gonna be impressed by. Like, okay, what do you think that guy would respond as though? He wouldn't like, know, dude. Because again, he does. Episodes and episodes, the death metal spirit, the metal spirit. He, he, these fucks don't even know how to spell it. Right. They don't know anything about. They'd be oblivious. What do you mean spirit? Just music, man. Yeah. They wouldn't know the fucking difference because they think <laughs> they think that and mushroom head is the same goddamn. So thing. he would have a belittling kind of response then, because he's, he's so it doesn't he doesn't have the brain cells to understand that because it's so out of his fucking vocabulary. <laughs> There's our episode title: Too dumb to like metal. Yeah. Too, yeah. too dumb to understand it, at least. At least the true spirit of it. Like, they don't understand things like why people, like, worship the first Bathory so much. Just, you know what I mean? Like, whether someone yeah. does or not, they don't, like, for example, like, I'm not a fan at all of, like, Vlad Tepe's mutilation. But the fan base of that, I at least get why and what they're trying to do. It's not my thing, but I get it. It's yeah. a different type of spirit, but in the same, like, a subgenre. You know what I mean? Oh, totally. Where these clowns, they can't even fathom it. They got no fucking clue. Yeah, you know I mean, they like, know nothing. Too dumb to like metal. There we go. See, we write these names out right on the spot. Yeah. I mean, that is like, yeah, you. <laughs> there's a, that should be an article. You know, you're smarter if you like metal. <laughs> oh, you just, that that'd be great if you tell they get what like when you're the belittling guy, dude. You're just too fucking dumb to even understand why why putting on Angel of Death is not impressive. Yes, because <laughs> the fact because he thought he was gonna impress you. Like, okay, because like I haven't heard this. Why do you want to? I know that's so great too. Like, why do you want to impress the? That, that that's the funniest thing. Then of all people that you thought you're gonna impress. Well, I think the reason why I, that the thing is that someone that dumb. I think the reason that why dumb. He's, We're just gonna refer to him as idiots. <laughs> yeah, I think the reason he's thinking he's impressing you because he thinks like, okay, well, this guy already knows all this shit I'm playing. I've been impressing the 
every, everybody else here <laughs> how heavy this shit I've been putting on. Because everybody else in the office, they don't know any fucking better. You know, they think like green jelly is the heaviest fucking thing ever when he puts on. Puts on I would have been on. impressed if he played oh, green I, jelly. I, he, I figured he did because usually that, a lot of those karaoke douches do bust that oh, out. Oh, yeah. No, I would have been like, oh, wow. Oh, because usually those guys bust that out. Oh. And, um, Okay, maybe then if it was like cow god or something that wasn't uh, three little pigs green jelly. It's always three little pigs, yeah. Yeah, then so I'd be I like, figured, all right, I I'm impressed. that's what he had. So he's put like, fuck yeah, I'm kicking everybody else's ass. But this guy's sitting on a bump in a log with long hair. He, I know he's not impressed because he's heard all this. Yeah, so I yeah, got, yeah. I got a good one for he him. He looks like a rocker. He looks like a rocker, <laughs> so I got one for him. And then it's just like, isn't that more popular than green jelly? Like, like you pull out something that's even more obvious. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, hey, even like something that wouldn't be impressive, but I would be kind right. of impressed for someone's caliber if he busts it out something like Overkill. Yeah. But, all right. I'm a little, oh, okay. I mean, I'm not like blowing the fuck away. He didn't blow out putrefaction or anything, <laughs> but I mean, that's a little bit more impressive. Dude. <laughs> and I would like, see, if he wanted the response that he probably yeah, wants, dude, like if it was, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are, yeah that I, I am, I brother. I, I do like that one, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I would high five on that. Yeah, that, that probably would have, like, I probably would have, like, not, because oh, like, I don't high five. I probably just would have came out of there, yeah. like, holy shit. Like, I was not expecting that. You got that. me, it brother. It would have been you when you were just, like, you're, like, cannibal corpse. Oh, God. And it turns out, like, <laughs> you know the guy. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, I kind of knew him. He, he even read Rupert's. your demeanor, like, this guy doesn't want to talk to me. We're shit. I, I think he did say <laughs> something, but well, Lindsay knew for sure. She's like, oh, God, I could just see it on your face. Because, yeah, I was, I was, like, putting my, uh, like creamer and a coffee, and he says it to my back, and as soon as I was, oh my Spill fucking it. god! Like, well, I just I already know where this conversation's going. Oh man! So I was listening to uh, an old episode too, and um, and recently somebody said something on a comment where they were like, "And we got extreme bullying here too." Oh really? Yeah, and I, I remember I saying years. something about it, but I so happened to just stumble on and actually read that, and then play the actual episode of where it originated in, and I didn't remember the story behind it. But it was fucking hilarious, like what we were talking about. And so I thought, man, like, dude, what would be an awesome skit that we should do? Let's <laughs> go to the bowling alley, recreate the extreme bowling experience. How do you and, do that? Well, you just you write it and you shoot a, a scene, I guess. But like, it would be like, yeah, like I'm sitting there always like over here and every little thing. Like, do you hear this shit song? Like, I can't hear fuck. So what they need to do is they want extreme bowling. Hire JJ as a DJ. Well, yeah, well, that would be the end of it. So, like, you know, throughout everything, like, I'm going up the bowl. You're like, no, every time, like, you go up the bowl and then there's that kid that just, like, goes walking up there and you're halfway throwing a ball and it just fucks you up and you throw. It's been a long time since I went bowling, but, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you throw, like, an embarrassing gutter because of, because of it. Like, that would be what happens to me every time, like, one of the songs goes on. Like, Hootie and the Blowfish just gets louder. Like, ah, fuck! No, I thought they, you throw I thought, a gutter. I thought during the Extreme Bowl when they played, tried to play their uh, so-called heavy. Oh, they, that's they true. They put on Kid Rock or something well, like there that. There you go, they're yeah. Like, they're, like, tearing it up. But, dude, like, the commentary that would have to be, that would be hilarious. Like, I could just see, like, you, like, you know, you'd be eyeing up, like, a total dude. Like, look at this douche. This guy better throw a gutter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just... yeah, well, honestly, when you go to that, you, you kind of just know there's going to be some serious fucking douchery. At least not, but it's been years since I've been there. Yeah. I don't know. That just struck me that that could be hilarious, though. The the hell could be stay off the extreme bowling. Could be if they do. Who knows? During all this wimpification, what do you got to wear a mask, not a bowl? Like you might not even be able to go. Right, but you can fit, stick your hands into in the Incredible Hulk's ball. I don't know. I, like I, but what I'm what I'm getting is I don't know if bowling's open even at the moment. Yeah, is it, it is over here. Is it okay? Yeah, extreme bowling after this. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. That and the panini douche. Uh, that, that, they that. do go hand in hand. You know, they probably just ate dinners, had a few, kicked back a few first, then what came. Well, you know what's even funny? Extreme bowling though? starts, I think, at nine or ten o'clock. So he first went to Panini's, got his crappy <laughs> burger, had his had his Bud Lights, and then came to fucking Extreme Bowling. Sounds about right, right? Same client. Yes. Let me ask you about this too. Do you not know then, like you can tell if if it's a bar for you just by the sign in the the uh, window. So if there's a Bud Light neon, this guy's not going. Uh, I don't do th- – honestly, I don't really go to too many bars, so I don't really know. I mean uh, – and then, honestly, the only shit that we do go to is, is whatever's local because it's close. Would you agree, though, if you saw only a only a Bud Light neon? It's just like, oh, I'm not even bothered. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been to one. I don't know. You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> Sorry, I, I, you, could pull a, you could pull a Zach and be like, that place was great. No, they're not. They're yeah. not. He thought so, but, right? That place dude, was awesome. Pull a, that's the Reef Talk Challenge. I dare you to find a bar with a Bud Light neon – 
that has an inviting crowd. <laughs> oh, the crowd. I'm sure. Yeah. I, oh, I, dude. I would picture it as older guys that look kind of hillbillyish. That's what I would imagine. Or imagined. absolute DB. Because if it's the Bud Light, like those can bottle things, don't even bother. But yeah, that's love, a, as a, younger as, crowd DB. Yes, because I just picture like older hillbillies, pure Rovers, morning glory, oh, douche, God, baggery oh, on the highest of heavens. Dude, that, that you didn't even need to live in Cleveland dude, to that, know what dude, I just that, described. That douche is so irrelevant that nobody that doesn't know, live in Cleveland doesn't even know who the fuck is he is. He around in Corona? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, but no, oh, Matt, dude, that guy just drives my fuck. Hey, don't even get me started on that guy. And somebody had the cojones to fucking invite me out to that. Can you believe that shit. <laughs> Yes, and I wish you would, because it would have got it filmed. Dude, because dude, that would have lit up like I couldn't do it. That would be I'm a gold. nice guy. Someone gets me a little gift for like, well, nobody gets me gifts, but you know, what I mean, especially not in that sense to where it was for nothing. I, usually, I'd be nice and just oh, okay, you know, it's kind of like when you get a Christmas gift and you're like, they got you something that you'd never want in a million years, but it's your aunt or whatever. You're right, 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 right. But you put on the smile on the face. Oh, thanks. Oh, you know thanks. I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like wanted this. It's kind of like sweater. It's, it's kind of like that. That's what you always do. But I mean, elf. with this, it's like I, I can't do it. I got, I got to tell them. I, I can't do it. I can't stomach it. Can't go it. No way. Against everything I stand for. Can't do it. But I'm getting <laughs> butt raped while I'm there. Just the the fact of me going there is the equivalent of me like going to prison. Like I'm, I'm gonna get taken in the ass. Dude, that'd be take great it. I too. Like, do it. just can't do it. I gotta stand up for myself this time. It's against what I stand for. What the fuck you stand <laughs> for? Like, who the hell are you? Like, yeah. But I mean, reality too. It's just like, well, dude. I mean, I could go in a Hellcast fan would be there. Like, that's not gonna go look good for business. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? I had, to do, I had to do it, man. <laughs> you know, well, that would be the thing. Like, what did your wife drag you? Well, no. <laughs> well, this, what the, the fuck? Guy, the guy that thinks he's my friend, right? Well, this fucking guy, he's cable guy, you know. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> cable guy? What? Never seen that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shitty movie? And people hate that movie. Yeah, I don't know why. It's I pretty, know. It's pretty it's funny. One of the best JCs. It is one of the best. What the hell JCs. is this episode of the Do with Metal? <laughs> ah, like it's, you know. I ain't got sidetracked, dude. Yeah. yeah, that would. Do you remember the lineup of that? Because uh, that, dude, that would have been like anybody. It's, Honestly, he he, met, he mentioned the line. I don't even remember. I didn't. It was shit I never even heard of. Dude, that's a 100%. When you told me about that, that was a total Tom Arnold true lies. Like, dude, if you were in my position, you'd be laughing your ass off right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, dude, I, I, to I, me I, to fathom. Because then you said he had like limo. Didn't yeah. he have the limo too? Said, what was yeah. the delivery like? Ju- like I just was, think like no, it was through text and shit. He didn't actually give oh. it. I, I just declined right so there. So it wasn't. I like, was like, I'm busy. It wasn't Jerry. It wasn't. Well, dude, I got a. It wasn't limo Jim Carrey the mask? I got those. Roverfest tickets you wanted. No, 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 it wasn't like that. No, it wasn't like that. <laughs> and then AJ Dog, I got us a limo too. And then guess what? We got buckets of. He said, uh, the, I'm trying to think of uh, this. He's uh, like, uh, a month in advance. He's like, June 28th, man, we're going to Roverfest. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, 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 what do you mean we? I, 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 <laughs> Who are we? I, yeah. <laughs> I was like, first of all, I was like, how do you know I don't have plans? Which I do now, whether I do or don't. <laughs> and it wasn't going to go with that. Even, even if it's just the couch. And, and second of all, like, like, why would you, like, you, you, you kind of know me. You kind of would know that I, that's not my fucking shtick. You know what I mean? And the, well, well, that's the thing. Is, dude, that is somebody that deliberately, like, is, is, like, going against every effort not to know you, but want to right. know you. They think and they do. It's like it's yeah. redundant. It's redundantly uh, not. Are we going like, to we going to church the next morning too, man. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. Like, like, why would you? Why would I want to go to that? Dude, that would have been great. Like, that, guys want to see me come play my Christmas carols at, at the church? <laughs> no, why would I want to do that? You know what I'm talking about, right? That's why I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> why, why would I want to do that? <laughs> see, dude. Well, <laughs> so after the cable guy would have. Uh, you know, Jim Carrey got some concert tickets, and if you did, just like, do you do you know me at know. all? Like, I go what do you think like that response would be like to some? Because like, well, cause you know, but you never know. can call that person out either, though. Not especially this person. You can't. No. They would be so dumbfounded that you would just there would be no like. Well, this is a guy too. No matter how much you know about anything, and at the topic, he's never even know. He already knows more about you than it, even though he just found out about five minutes. Oh, ago. dude, you got to record conversations with him. We got well, another I, Hell's dude, Bells I here. I haven't, I haven't talked to him in over two years. Oh. Cause that'd be great. Like you, we got finally gotta, got the fucking memo. We gotta get like, dude. So you like at Fumza? Oh yeah, yeah, that's he, great. He, his response <laughs> like, I give anything a try, man. I'd give it a shot. I'm sure I can get into it. It'd be something along those lines. <laughs> Sarah, I'm serious. It'd be something along those lines. No, the funny thing is, is you're th- you didn't need acting chops right there because you just acted out like a douchebag that like everybody probably would know. Somebody like. <laughs> I, I hinted about it earlier. It was 
for nine seconds, and then half the stuff I had, which thanks to Redefining Darkness for the cool shit last week I didn't re- re- uh, mention, so that's out. Check that out. Um, but that's an LP, so we can't play that on six nine seconds. Then I don't have the tape player hooked up for Shamil, for Shamir, Shamil. Sorry, man, guy from Czech Republic from last time. Cool <laughs> shit. I can play a uh, bestial reveler, revivaler, or re- whatever reviler, fuck right? reveler. Um, so the only thing we've got left is the fourth thing, and so we are on one nine second. And the thing of it is, though, nobody's ever. I mean, out. I'm sorry, a foom ja. Za, I would like, give them 18 seconds. Yeah, I don't think that YouTube is going to flag that don't one. don't think YouTube is going to flag it, and I don't think anyone listening has probably heard them. Right. So we really got to make up for the lack of... Uh, lack of exposure. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Flowers for the Dead, the first song. And we'll even do that. That's who we're going against. We'll play the first track since it's... Uh, we'll see if there's an intro, God damn it. Yeah, it's a part of the rule. It's against the rules, yet we do them every single time. There's it's that right. intro. There's that intro with rain. Yep, YouTube is gonna flag it for the the rain. You don't own that shit. Yeah, you're not allowed to use the rain. It's a stock photo. Oh man, this is pure intro. All right, well, fuck. Oh, no. man, that's loud. Yeah, that's just these cans are so sensitive. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we'll skip flowers for the dead, and we will go uh, sim- symbol of a new eon. player's got a serious delay to it. I know, it's slow. This got some serious intro action. Cable guy ain't jamming this. No, Cable guy definitely went like this. So far, it smokes everything on Roverfest lineup. I don't even remember what the fuck the lineup was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. They're from Belarus. Or, uh, the label is Possession Productions from Belarus, and uh, so anything from like Russia, Belarus, Ukraine area um, usually doesn't always tickle my fancy, but uh, I am going to listen to, to the rest that, of this. You want to put that in my pile, Reap? I'll give it a good hard listen on the ride home. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll let you do that. You got the one the drive. Um, and then just remind me to talk about the next fucking episode. How awesome the rest of it was, and yeah. remember to... And if it sucks, I'll let you know. I don't, yeah. I, I don't. I don't. Just. I don't just pretend to like shit. If I don't like it, I tell you. I don't give. Fu- I'll give a shot. Or, or I'll give everything. <laughs> I can take a shot in the mouth. <laughs> Isn't that the line? No, I was talking about the, the cable guy. What you, what you said he was going to say, "I'll try anything." Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Afumza, right? Or how would you say that? About that, but it's probably black, you know not right. Because the, the za might be. I mean, the z might be silent, and the right. might be uh, afumaha. Right. Like, honestly, it could be pronounced that way over there. But, um... Well. Not it'll the, be linked. Not not the coolest song names, but, uh... Yeah, but well... Like I said, I'll give it a good, good, good hard listen. Vajug on drums and vocals. Cold Flame on guitars, bass, and effects. Just two guys. <laughs> what the fuck? This was written... This is old, man. This is 2001. 2001 and 2003. If I had... Shim- Re-recorded in 04. So shit! I if I had was... the letter that went with it, uh, I could have told you more. Yeah, because there were, he did say what it was all about, and I uh, just yeah, failed to do a really a good job I'll reading. Give it, it. I'll give it an honest listen. It sounded pretty good. Well, hey, before I hang it up here, I want to roll a question out to you. Do you guys want to see more J Dog's photos? Um, uh, cause yeah, yeah he's got a shit ton of them. More, if you want to see more and more, you contact the other two guys that got them. And yeah, because I'd like to. Uh, well, because for me, even myself, man, I would like to have them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are they doing with them? What are they getting my photo for? They ain't looking at that shit. <laughs> Not that I'm sitting around looking at crap, but you know what I mean? I like to have for the archives. Yeah. Well, yeah. who would have thought that there would be yeah. content for a, a podcast later down yeah. the road, you know? Yeah, who'd want to look at my ugly mug? Right. Well, it, it is. It's cool, you know, then the stories that come. So if that's something you want to see, let us know. But otherwise, are you? can you be too dumb to like, or like metal? I mean, come on. Are we that big of dicks? But I think that does... Yeah, there might be an intelligence factor. <laughs> well, obviously, there's a lot of dumb people that do like metal, too. No, but I that, know. It's a different <laughs> type of intelligence. It's not the book smart. It's fucking metal street smart. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? It's a type of character that just, like, bullshits themselves through life, really. Because uh, they'll, they'll just lie to you about any little thing just to essentially fit in, I guess, is what we're really describing. But, uh, but hey, we, we get on those kind of tangents all the time. So, uh, this has been Hellcast. And, hey, if I got to remind you to do all that crap... Uh, like, share, subscribe. When you do all that, go to RevenMailProductions.com. We'll have everything 
to talk to you next time.